I started doing lighting back in probably the late uh, 2000, no, probably no earlier than that, in about 2000, 2001. And back then, it was really kind of before I had much digital, maybe in the early 90s, early late 90s, and uh, didn't have much digital, so you'd have to shoot and try to figure it out later. And you'd, of course, you'd look at your photos, you know, three days later and try to remember what you did to create that lighting. And the lighting back then, I did, I did was not very good. And so I started reading and studying and just doing all my own, trying to, you know, I have bought a lot of different strobes and started experimenting and, and uh, I had a studio, luckily had a studio I could experiment with. And then I'd start learning about light modifiers and what they do and I would just, sometimes I'll just sit down and uh, take a, a, va a vase or, a, or a, a pot of flowers and use a lot of different lighting to try to see what the light does and the shape of the light and how it's formed and uh, things like that. So that's really kind of how I got into lighting and then uh, I do a lot of uh, location photography and especially a lot off my motorcycle because I do a lot in the motorcycle industry. So I got to learn to carry a really lightweight, small kit sometimes. And so I learned to use speed flashes to do that with speed lights. Well, lighting creates a mood. And so what you're trying to do uh, is create a mood, a sense of your people of the viewer being there. You try to tell a story with your pictures and you want to try to capture the mood, the mood of sitting around a campfire or this mood of you know early morning sunrise or sunset or some type of mood in your photos and the lighting really helps you to create that mood. And, and a lot of times you're not necessarily creating the lighting, you're finding the lighting that's there and using it. Other times the lighting you, if, especially if you're a commercial photographer, you're going out and the lighting is not very good and you get a, it creates just a flat, boring mood. And so sometimes you need to create your own mood to uh, your own, use your own lighting to create your own mood. Well, to me, what draws me in for, what really inspires me are great stories. I want a, uh, a good story is really what I'm after. And you know the story itself is what inspires me, and I want to turn around and figure out a way to share that story with readers. You know, how do you really portray this really cool person or cool subject or your you're assigned to photograph? How do you, how do you turn that and and give that same inspiration to other people? And so I look at a lot of. Uh, you know, other photographers inspire me, but more than anything, it's the story that inspires me more than anything. I, I like to travel. I, I tell you, the stories I like to tell are the everyday stories of people that you are not famous. They're just normal people out in the world um, that, that have some really inspiring stories. And I like to kind of bring that to uh, to light, and uh, I, I like to I, I, I like seeing other cultures and other people and other how they live and how they work, and so that you know the traveling allows me to see things other than just Oklahoma. Which I love Oklahoma is my favorite place and it's where I'm from and and I love the people here, but I also like to travel and see other places. Well, I, I think uh, you know. The, the, I think the expo is going to be a great deal because it, it's it's inspiring. It's, it's good to have something in Oklahoma City that inspires you to do better and to see what other people have done, and you know, hopefully get better yourself. And and I learn from other photographers all the time, and hopefully some people can learn a few things from me. And and uh, I'm really appreciative for what Bedford has done here to uh, to sponsor this and to bring this to the Oklahoma City photography community. And so I'm very thankful for what they're doing. I think it's gonna be a big deal. I think it's gonna be really important. And I'm really excited to help out. That's what I really feel like I'm doing is helping out to uh, inspire others to uh, really get have fun and enjoy photography. Is, uh, it's about dramatic lighting, how to find it, create it, use it. Uh, I like to call art artificial lighting is wherever I can find, or natural lighting is wherever I can find. <laughs> the, um, but it's, it's the lighting, uh, how to use light to shape your f subjects 
and uh, to, you know, I think shadows are good things. A lot of people don't want shadows in their pictures and shadows is what helps create a dramatic portrait of people. And so we're gonna talk about how to find it and create your own lighting if you need to, to, um, to create a dramatic portrait. Well, I've been an instructor because um, I don't think there are any secrets. I mean, it's really important for us to pass down what we know to other people. I mean, if I, I was able to learn from a lot of photographers that went before me, and um, you know, luckily they were free with their knowledge and, and they taught me a lot of things and I'd like to be able to pass that down on to other photographers that are coming up in the world. And um, you know, there's, I don't think there are any secrets per se. There's no secrets to being a great photographer. There's too much knowledge out there to learn it. And so you know, it's, not, it's not like I wanna keep things a secret. You might as well share it and try to get, let other people coming behind you uh, learn the same thing. Learn, not the same thing, but learn how to use the knowledge you've learned to work on their own style. Well, my camera. <laughs> the camera, uh, oh, what can I not live without? I hadn't thought about that before. Uh, a good prime lens. I mean, if, if if I had one camera and one lens and that was all I could shoot with, it'd be a you know a 50 millimeter prime. And my, well, right now the DF is my favorite. And um, you know, it's, you know, that's the ability to, uh, you can do a lot with that, with that camera. The, Lighting, I can find lighting, I can create lighting out of, you know, bouncing it, or, you know, even without a flash, I can figure out a way to get some lighting out of it, go get a flashlight or whatever it might be, but you, know, you gotta have a good lens, and I, I like prime lenses, so just, I don't know, just a good prime lens. I'm James Pratt, and I'm a photographer.